Kate, in a nutshell, is just a bundle of joy. She just loves to make people laugh. We go to the grocery store, it'd take two hours to get through because every person that we'd pass would stop and talk to her. She touches everybody in, in her own special way. We first started noticing something was different a little before her diagnosis. She was having headaches, you know, and vomiting in the morning. Her smile was a little off. She was tripping a lot more. The pediatrician said, okay, you need to go for an MRI. Kate was diagnosed with DIPG uh, August 16, 2014. She was just shy of five and a half years old, ready to start kindergarten. And unfortunately, instead of starting kindergarten, we started radiation. DIPG stands for Diffuse Intrinsic Pontine Glioma, and it is a highly aggressive tumor that affects children between five and nine years of age. So this is the pons, the part of the brainstem where DIPG grows, and it's the part where all the tracks from the whole brain run through towards the body. This means that we cannot operate on the tumor. In addition, they are chemo-resistant, and even radiotherapy, which oftentimes works in brain tumors, only halt tumor growth for a few months before the tumor inevitably comes back. Most of our patients die within eight to 12 months after diagnosis. Of course, there's a, a, a roller coaster of emotion that comes along with that. It's cancer, there's therapy for cancer, but the standard of care hasn't changed for 40 years when it comes to DIPG. You know, this, this is it. One and a half years ago, a new technology came up in science, which I think is one of the biggest opportunities we currently have, and it's called single-cell RNA sequencing. Single-cell RNA sequencing gives us the chance to look at active genes per single cell. And then by finding out which identity those cells have, we can come up with new therapeutic approaches for children with DIPG. We have all the expertise and infrastructure set up. All we need right now is more hands on deck and funding to do this. We are currently planning on sequencing 1,000 to 2,000 single cells per tumor, which costs about $20,000. We've learned from adult glioma that in order to get a comprehensive picture, we will need to sequence five tumors at least, which means the costs go up to $100,000. We're confident that once we have this comprehensive map of the architecture of the APGs, we'll be able to design more specific therapeutics in the near future. Awareness comes first, and through awareness you can raise funds, and through funds you can start research projects, and you can have someone dedicated to, to studying just DIPG. It has given us the desire to find a way to motivate, or even just contribute to somebody that's willing to take the ball and go, and, and change kids' lives, and give them their childhood back. This new technology of single cell RNA sequencing is really a game changer. Even a small contribution would help at this point. If there was any positive out of any of this, it's really how good people can be. There's levels of caring there that I never thought was possible before. When you're having the bad days and, and things aren't going exactly the way that it is, there's that little bit of light that's there to the next step.